Turn it off! Larry, did you hear Michael Jackson's new song? No. <laughs> really, he did a remake of that old Elton John song, Don't Let Your Sun Go Down on Me. <laughs> I don't get it. Do the bowl up. Oh, that's good. Do, do the babies. Ow. Hey, we oh. gotta go downstairs and listen to that music, man. Can I go to the doctor? Yeah, yeah. That's it. This is the Can best the part. Doctor? Oh my goodness. Gentlemen, <laughs> right. I'd like to at this time introduce you to Donald Krupe, the future number one team manager of the ABA. Let's hear it for Don. <laughs> anyway, three guys die. They all go to heaven or St. Peter's Gate. St. Peter goes to the gate and he says, You know, the first time ever I've had three guys die at exactly the same time. He looks at the first guy and he says, he says, tell me, he says, tell me your story what happened. He says, well, he says, I was at work and he says, I just had this feeling my wife was playing around on me. So I left work early and went home, ran in the house, didn't find a goddamn thing in the house, got frustrated as hell, got mad, took the refrigerator, threw it out the window, damn cord caught my leg, took me right out the window with it. And he says, man, he says, that must have been terrible. He says, yeah, he says, it was. And he goes, the second guy he says, what's your story? <coughs> He said, well, he says, I was sitting in my car in a convertible. I looked up, and the next thing I saw was a refrigerator and a guy following it. That's the last thing I remember. <laughs> and he turns around and he looks at the third guy, and he says, what's your problem? He says, you know, funny thing, he says, I was in a refrigerator. <laughs> that was good. Do you know, do you know what's black and blonde, black and blonde, black and blonde? Uh, a lot of material you're doing cartwheels. A what? A Laker cheerleader doing car wheels. All right, get this. This woman, she's nine and a half months pregnant. She's way overdue, right? And she's getting ready to bust, but she doesn't. She doesn't exactly go into labor. But she hears the baby crying inside her. She goes, "Honey, I think it's time. We got to go now." And he says, "Well, how how far apart are the pain?" She goes, "Well, I don't have any pains, but..." Get down there, listen, he's crying. So he bends down and goes, Jesus Christ, we better get you to the hospital. So they rush her to the hospital and get her into the, the delivery room and they slap her feet up into the stirrups. And the doctor comes in and says, all right, on how far apart are your pains? She goes, I don't have no pains, but he's crying. Can you hear him? He gets down and goes, yeah, we better go in right away and get this. So they all hover over her and they, they pull the baby out and the dad's in there and he's filming it and everything, and all of a sudden the baby comes out. He's fully developed. He's got hair and everything. He looks up at him. And I said, uh, Are you my daddy? The doctor says, No, 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 I'm not. He goes over to the other guy, the assistant, and says, uh, Are you my daddy? He says, No, no, I'm not. And he looks at the guy filming and he goes, uh, Are you my daddy? He goes, Yes, yes, son, yes. He goes, okay. Give me a daddy. So he bends down and the kid takes the, his hand and bounds him in the head five times. He goes, I don't like it. <laughs> I walked into a bar with a little guy sitting on his shoulder, he sits there and walks over and tells the bartender, he says, give me a double VO and give my friend a single. So I can't serve it. He says, trust me, he's 21. So he pours him a double, pours a single, the guy runs down his arm, drinks the drink, comes back up and sits on his shoulder. So this goes on for about two or three hours. He tells the bartender, he says, hey, bartender, one more, please. Comes over and he pours the drink, the little guy runs down his arm, drinks his single, runs down the bar and knocks everybody's drink over, comes running back, comes up and says, I said, sure. The bartender comes over and says, hey, you see that little son of a bitch, what he did? He said, don't worry about it, bartender. Set the bar up, he says, I'll pay for everything. Sets the bar up, he comes back and says, you know, he says, I've been meaning to ask you, where did you get this guy? He says, I was walking on the beach, I saw it was, I opened it up, a genie came out and says, I'm going to give you one wish, and one wish only, anything you want, one wish. He says, I asked for a 12-inch prick, and that's him. <laughs> <laughs>